Primates played a massive role in COVID-19 vaccine development, but now animal researchers say they're running out of test monkeys. A global shortage threatens progress on HIV medication and even treatments for brain injuries. But there is a plan to boost the population. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Houston joins us live to explain. Matt? Yeah, Sharon, there is a plan. It starts here in San Antonio, but let's talk about why there's a monkey shortage in the first place. Researchers working with things like vaccines or treatments for humans, well, they get better results generally when they test on primates because we are more similar to baboons, for example, than lab rats. Demand is booming, supply isn't keeping up. Dr. Deepak Kaushal says it's expensive to ethically breed monkeys. Even as primates became a preferred test subject for human medicine, research institutions did not get the money they needed to keep up. So we need a lot of animals and we must produce a lot of animals. And for that, we need animal facilities. It's why Texas Biomed raised 15 million bucks through donations and grants to build this, a state-of-the-art animal care facility. The crown jewel is a new hospital, though there will be space for recreation. Monkeys can freely move inside or out to play with toys or even watch movies. Happy primates make better models, and, and so uh, it is a mandate to enrich our primates' life for us. Texas Biomed leaders broke ground yesterday. They designed the facility with the weather in mind. Researchers stayed overnight with their monkeys for days during the winter storm, but still needed to amputate frostbitten fingers and tails from 159 baboons. None died. I do think that we did well. However, we've learned lessons and we've improved um, our emergency plan as a result. Texas Biomed hopes to complete the four-building facility in early 2023. They'll send some of the monkeys born in San Antonio to other research institutions with shortages around the nation. Matt Houston, KINS 5, Eyewitness News.